Today, we check out build update number one on the Techno EB48.4, the 1.8 scale four wheel drive buggy. Rich here from the rcnetwork.com and today we have build update number one on the 48.4, the newest buggy from Techno RC. Now this thing was actually a very, very easy build. I've built several Technos in the past and this one just goes hand in hand with great instructions, great parts, great fitment, quality, you name it, this is in this Techno kit. Well, first off, why the point four? Why do they need to update this thing? Well, Techno has always done very good research and development. And with that, the point four version adds several items to the already great platform, the EB platform. Now with that, they did make a lot of running changes. When I originally saw the announcement of this vehicle, I wasn't too impressed. It didn't seem like enough to make it a new vehicle. Just come out with some extra little parts and we would be good but there's is lots of things in this new point four version that really surprised me and i've got to say very very nice job techno rc so what was left over in the kit? Not much, just what you see in front of you. Of course, we have all of the adjustable pills here for the A, B, C, and D blocks, which is expected. We have a couple of extra servo horns, a 23 and 24 tooth. I use the 25 for the high-tech that I installed. There is a separate little kind of non-servo saver bell crank, and I didn't see any mention of this in the owner's manual. I went ahead and installed the servo saver version, plus it had some cool little upgraded parts on it. I have three screws up here to mount your transponder and four diff shims to mount on the diffs if you happen to need them. I didn't need it in my fitment. Basic tools needed to assemble this techno kit are your basic RC tools, a 1.5, 2.0, and 2.5 millimeter hex driver set. You do need a 5.5 and 7.0 nut driver, a pair of good needle nose pliers, and a set of shears to cut parts off of trees, although parts on trees were very minimal on this kit. Supplemental tools that make the build go even easier are specifically Techno's 17 millimeter wheel wrench, their shock shaft pliers. They have multiple tools on these two items to make not only the items they do very easy, but they also build shocks like you couldn't imagine. The set of good calipers to measure out turnbuckles and shock lengths, a couple of EDS arm reamers, this is the 3.5 and 4.0 for the arms, a good hobby knife, and of course, a couple of turnbuckle wrenches. I use the Techno ones, they fit the Techno turnbuckles perfectly. The owner's manual is one of the best in the industry. Techno does a great job of telling us how to build their cars. The complete owner's manual is very well laid out with one-to-one -one directions on every step. Now, when you build a Techno kit, when you open up bag A, you have all the parts you need to build that section of the manual. Now, when moving on to different sections, you open up different bags. There's no leftover parts, everything is needed in the bag and most of the parts are cut off of the parts trees. I found very little areas where I had to cut the parts off of trees. On over here to the shock assembly instructions, very well written once again, and the filling instructions. This is a complete build now for emulsion style shocks, which they've always done a bladder shock in the past on all their vehicles. Now their stock setup is emulsion style and it was really well written. I found it very consistent and I built every single shock to where they were all very consistent. At the end of the manual, they give you the stock setup sheet that's already pre-filled out. So if you wanna just follow along as you're building, you can do so. But in the owner's manual, it gives you all of the specifications. On the following two sheets, they give you blank setup sheets. Very nice that they're giving you a full color one. It looks very, very nice. All right, so what are the changes? Let's go down the list. First off, we have the new CNC 7075 chassis with improved wear characteristics. 
always important on an eight scale buggy. Next thing we have the revised steering geometry with the new Ackerman plate. The Ackerman plate that caused all of the frenzy of is a new vehicle coming out from Techno RC. We also have bearing supported spindle and carrier design. These are super smooth now. They ride on ball bearings on each point and it makes the steering super smooth. Next, we have a very wide rear pivot suspension geometry, a little bit wider than the previous gen, and this will give a better geometry overall. We also have ultra efficient drivetrain and new universal drive shafts throughout. So getting rid of the CVD design and now going with universals, just make a little bit more continuous suspension travel and no binding whatsoever. The revised internal gear ratio in the differentials offered an improved efficiency overall on the drivetrain, letting you run even smaller and smaller pinions and keeping the heat down in your electronics. The new CNC shock package is awesome. It provides CNC flat Delrin pistons and Delrin guides. There's no clipping off parts on the parts tree for the shocks anymore. Also CNC bladder shock caps that can be done either emulsion as the stock setup allows, vented or non-vented. The new low frequency shock springs are super smooth paired with the new shock package. And lastly, the new body design is very, very nice. It offers a little bit better styling than the previous gen and it just looks like a fighter jet. Now, some of the things that I noticed between the point four over here and the point three that wasn't really mentioned on the website was first off, the anodization is just a little bit different. Now, if you notice in the shock towers, the point four version has definitely a bluer look to the gray shock towers where the point three had definitely a blackish grayish color. Speaking of anodization, the shock bodies have a slightly different color and they appear to be very, very slippery, almost like a Kashima coating that you would find on Fox mountain bike shocks. So with that, doesn't appear to be officially licensed as Kashima, but it is very slippery, thus making things work even better. The 0.3 version of the steering spindle appears to be just straight, not as beefy as the new version that has a step down design and additional gussets that go out to the steering links. The 17 millimeter wheel adapters have a different design. Now on the 0.4 version, just a normal hexagonal design where the previous gen had a little bit of weight savings with kind of like a star shaped design, still hexagonal, but they took out some material to save a little bit of weight. If you haven't already done so, please check out my full length build video on this. Now, of course it isn't full length. It's about 45 minutes of some pretty good information. Now, like I said in the video, I'm probably not gonna teach Ryan Lutz how to build a vehicle, but I think if you're new to RC kit building or just wanna pick up some tips and tricks on how I build my kits, definitely check out that video. That'll be down in the video description. Well guys, that is build update number one on my Techno EB48.4. Can't wait to get some electronics installed on this thing. As you can see here, uh, missing the motor mount. Already mounted up the motor. I was kind of anxious to get this thing going and I kind of forgot to actually shoot the build update one. So here it is and hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. I'm off to installing electronics and painting up that new fighter jet style body. Well guys, that's it for now. If you have any comments or questions, please feel free to post it on down below. And as always, thumbs up and subscribe. That's it for now guys, over and out.